We're going to replace the brake pads on our new 1600R. I'm going to show you how it works and how to readjust it when you're done. We're going to remove these two screws, the two on the top here, this one and this one. Take those out and that will remove the uh, caliper from the disc. Get the caliper off. We're going to take a large screwdriver, lay it right in between there, and then twist it sideways, pushing the pistons all the way back in to the caliper. Once you've done that, we got to remove this cotter key out of the top here. So you're going to need a pair of pliers to straighten the key out. And slide it out. And with the caliper line, you just push the the pads and the spring out together, as you see here. We put our new pads. These come right off. So this is our spring clip and your pad. To reassemble it, you just put the spring clip over the pad itself. It just slips right over. Lining up your hole there. Put your second pad on. And get this little spring clip over the actual brake material. You see your holes are lined up there. And we just take that little package. And we slide it right back in. The brakes to the top. Your cotter key comes in from the outside towards the inside, line up all your holes, slide it right in there like that, take and put the long side to the top, take your pliers and bend that counter key back and like such. Now we reapply, put the pads back on. We're going to put our screws back in here. Run the screws down to where they're close but not tight. Grab your, rear, your brake lever, give it a couple pumps, and then hold it tight and tighten the two screws. With the two screws tightened now, nice. You're ready to go again.